Hey guys, Callie Fab here, and today I really want to do a different type of video on my channel that I haven't quite done before, and it might be a little controversial. Controversial? 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 Whatever. Anyways, it might be a little bit offsetting to some of you, and I'm not trying to offend anybody when I talk about these topics. I'm just saying my personal opinion, and honestly, I have done many of these things that I'm going to talk about today that annoy me now that I've been on YouTube for a while, and I've been watching YouTube for quite a few number of years, and I just really want to talk about a few beauty YouTube videos that really bug me and that really are pointless in the beauty community because we don't learn anything from them. So if you guys want to watch what I think about some of these pointless videos, then just keep on watching. So the first video type that I want to talk about is first impressions. So in my opinion, first impressions literally mean nothing to me because I have done a first impression myself on my channel. I have done a get ready with me first impressions and then I it's funny because I look back on it and some of the items that I liked in the first impression I have since decluttered because I hated them and other items that I was just like eh, it's okay you know it's whatever I have absolutely loved so I realized that when doing it and making the mistake myself I've learned that first impressions really mean nothing to me because your first impression of a product could be great, but then after you see like a lipstick, for instance, your first imp impression of a lipstick would be, oh my God, it's amazing, the color is beautiful, it's so comfortable on the lips, whatever. And then you realize that throughout the day it's smudging all over your mouth or it's getting on your teeth or it doesn't stay on very long and you have to reapply 16 times. It's just it's so pointless to me to do a first impression video and I've only done one in my entire YouTube career. You can look at my over a hundred videos. I've only done one first impression and I realize how dumb they are. They don't give you any information whatsoever, maybe just like your first initial responses to the product, but that's not how I wanna learn about products. I wanna learn about products by getting a full review on it. After you've used something for a week or two weeks or a month or however long it takes, then I want to get a review on what the product is. For instance, these ColourPop lipsticks, I'm actually wearing one today and it is called Pinkies Up. And I have been studying these and testing these and wearing these for over two months now. I got these lipsticks at the end of January and I've been wearing them since. And I try to wear one almost every single day because I know that the formula is gonna change with the color and the texture is gonna change with the color and stuff like that. And I have been really getting a good feel for these products, which is why I haven't put up my review video on them yet. I have a ton of different colors, like 12 or something. I've, tons of different colors that I want to share with you guys, but I don't want to share them until I have my real full opinion on them. Because in my opinion, why would I tell you to go and buy something, even if it is only $7 at ColourPop's web, or on ColourPop's website, why would I tell you to go buy something if I didn't like it? So in my opinion, first impressions, if I would have given you my first impression of these lipsticks, it would have been much different than how I feel about them now. So first impressions literally are the most pointless video I've ever heard of in my entire life. Like I said, even though I've done one myself, I feel like I learned a lot from that and I can look back on it and be like, wow, I really didn't like that product at all and now I freaking love it. So. Unless they have a follow-up, if your first impression video has a complete follow-up where it shows you using all of the products for over a month and then deciding if you really like them or not after, I think that would be useful. But the fact that people, and I'm not talking about anybody in specific here, but a lot of people will go and buy a brand new eyebrow pencil and they'll try it for the very first time and be like, oh my God, this is the best drugstore eyebrow pencil I've ever tried in my entire life. And I just put it on and I'm barely even putting it in my eyebrow. And then all of a sudden that's the best eyebrow pencil. And oh my gosh, everybody has FOMO now because everybody has to go and pick it up. It's just, it doesn't make sense. Just because somebody big that has millions of subscribers here on YouTube tells you, oh my God, it's the best thing ever. And they've just tried it. Really? Are you really gonna listen to that? I used to think that, oh my God, I have to go get that eyebrow pencil, but then you don't hear about it ever again on their channel. So 
is it really the best eyebrow pencil from the drugstore? Because if it was, you would have heard about it many times over and over again. Even the big YouTubers that have an entire room of makeup and entire walls of makeup, like, if it's something that they really, really love, you'll see it in their empties or you'll see it in, you know, a products they love or the monthly favorites or whatever. And the fact that these products aren't showing up in any other format except for their first impressions makes you really think like, how could they really even care or know about that product when they've tried it one time? I don't know, this is like a big rant on first impressions, but it really drives me crazy because first impressions are the most pointless videos ever. And if you fall into the FOMO of it, I'm really sorry that you are because most of the time they are getting sponsored by these companies and they're not telling you or they're getting all this free PR from this company and they wanna continue receiving it. So therefore they'll put a bunch of products in a first review and say that they love everything just because they wanna continue getting PR from these products. And I don't, I don't have anything against PR. I think PR is a great way to showcase different products and showcase new products and stuff like that. I definitely watch a fair amount of PR unboxings and stuff, which I also think are pointless. <laughs> so my idea with PR unboxings, I'm switching over from first impressions, but it's kind of on the first impression line. So a, a YouTuber gets, you know, has all these stacks of boxes behind them, right? I'm gonna unbox everything today. And then you realize, well, am I ever gonna see any of these products again that you're unboxing? Or another thing that bothers me is when they have all these lipsticks, right? They get, let's say the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine Lip Shine lip Glosses or whatever, the new ones that are out, right? They get this whole box and they're showing them. And me, as a consumer, I wanna see those swatched. I wanna see what you think about them. I wanna see which, you know, what kind of quality they are from Urban Decay. Cause for me as a consumer, I'm spending $20 on these or however much they cost. I'll put the price right here. But I'm spending that money, my own hard earned money on that product. I want to know if it's any good and I want to know if it's something that I'm going to want in my collection or not. But just because you're showing me this big box right here, hey, look what I got, means nothing to me. Truly nothing. I want to see them swatched. I want you to have a wear test on them. I want to see what you think about them, how they feel on the lips. Are they sticky? Does your hair get caught in them? Stuff like that. I want to know these things because when I'm seeing you unbox these products, it's like, wow, what a cool product. Oh my God, it's gone five seconds later because you have 15,000 other boxes to unbox. I just think that PR hauls are really disappointing in my opinion because I see a lot of products that I'm like wow I'd really like to know if that is useful if you know if you ended up using that moisturizer and how it felt on your skin was it a gel substance was it a cream substance did you like it at night during the day how did it wear did it make your skin soft you know and people aren't giving these reviews they're just showing you oh look what I got from Tatcha or look what I got from Urban K look what I got from Too Faced but they're not saying anything else about them. You never hear about them unless it truly is one of their favorite products. But if it is, we've probably already heard about it before you got the PR on it. You probably talked about it many times and that company decided, well, let's send her a couple more of these products because we know she loves it and we know we can, we can, you know, she can sell it. Because if you think about it, beauty YouTubers are influencers. You're influencing your opinion of your beauty products that you have on other people. And for me, in my opinion, I won't influence anything on you guys if I don't love it. Because in my opinion, why would I do that? <laughs> why would I say to you, yeah, go and get these products. Even if I was getting paid to do something, I still would give my true honest opinion about it because I wouldn't want somebody being disappointed of something that I told them, hey, you know, this is the best product ever if I really didn't think that. Let me give you an example. So I have tried a ton, and I mean a ton, of powder foundations, and this is the best loose powder foundation I have ever tried. It is the Bare Minerals Original Powder Foundation. So when I talk about this powder foundation, I wear it all the time in my videos. I 
showcased it in my how to apply powder foundation. So if I'm showing this many times in favorites, in get ready with me's, in different things, you clearly know this is a product that I use and I love. Now, if I'm just talking about this product, oh my God, Bare Minerals, this is the best powder foundation and you never saw it again on my channel, is that really the best foundation? Is it though? Because I've never seen it again, you know? and. Stuff like this really bothers me when they're doing PR unboxings because like I said, you'll see these beautiful products and you'll see these new products that are coming out. I want to know if they're any good. What do you think about them? Don't just tell me what the company is sending you to tell me. Tell me what your honest opinion is because I just, I want to know if I'm going to be the consumer that pays $80 for a moisturizer, I want to know what kind of quality product I'm getting. Even though I know it's an expensive brand, I want to get a quality product when I'm purchasing something with that amount of money. And I know to some people $80 might not be a lot, other people it might be a ton. And for me, $80 is pretty expensive. I mean, thinking about the amount of money I make an hour, that's some worked money. Like. <laughs> And I don't want to spend my hard worked money and my husband's hard worked money or hard earned money on products that are shit, <laughs> if that makes sense. So PR un unboxings are another pointless video to me because there's never any follow up. And if there is, it's a follow up on maybe one or two of those brands or one or two of those products. And that's just not enough. When you're showing me all of these products, follow up, you know? Be a good influencer and follow up on these products. So in talking about follow up, I'm going to bring you to my third pointless video that I do myself. And now that I've been thinking about this topic for many months and have been wanting to do this topic for many months, I realize that I'm in the wrong here too. So another, my third video of pointless videos are hauls. So any kind of beauty haul, it doesn't matter if it's the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale, the Sephora VIB sale, a random Marshalls TJ Maxx haul, a random Meyer or Kmart or Walmart food haul or anything like that. It doesn't matter what kind of haul it is, follow up on it. So I realized that I am one influencer or YouTuber, beauty YouTuber, that doesn't follow up on my hauls. and. In thinking about that, it makes me feel really bad. I feel bad for you guys that I haven't been following up on my hauls. So starting this month in April, I'm gonna go back to my very first haul I did on my channel and follow up with you guys and tell you the products that I kept, what I got rid of, what I loved, what I you know was indifferent about, stuff like that because I think you guys need to know. And a lot of these products aren't limited edition products. They're products that are out forever. They're part of the, you know, the regular line of whatever brand that is, Wet n Wild for instance, has their foundation, you know. I need to follow up on some of these products and some of these hauls that I've been doing because when you see a haul, you're like, wow, look at all that cool makeup that they, they've got that's all brand new, whatever. What do they think about it? Same thing as PR, PR unboxings. What do they think of it? I'm not doing that. I haven't been showing you guys what I think of the products that I have been hauling. And you guys may see them in a favorites video or an empties video where I give you a review, but I haven't been good about following up on my hauls. And I realize that's a part of my channel where I'm doing it wrong. And I realize that when I watch other people's hauls, I want to see a re I want to see a review on those products in, you know, a month, two months, even six months because sometimes these hauls are so big like my Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale haul that's coming up very soon. It's going to be a big haul. I'm not going to be able to try everything out in a month. That's silly. And not only that, but I'm not going to be able to give you a real review on those products in a month. I am not like that. I won't give you a review on a product that I just purchased. That's not fair to anybody, including you guys, which are my subscribers and my trusted loyal people that I <laughs> I love you guys and I want you guys to get my real opinion on items. So when thinking of following up on hauls, I know somebody that does a really good job at it is Jessica Braun. She does a haul and then she talks about and does a haul review a couple months later or even a month later and I appreciate that so much. Say hi Carter. Hi. <laughs> okay. Yeah, hauls are a place where I feel like I'm selling you guys short. 
like especially like the the dollar store hauls i bought makeup i bought products i bought bath salts i bought soaps did you guys did you care about those maybe you did maybe you thought wow she's buying all these things from the dollar store maybe i can get that same thing for a dollar and save all my money on bath salts because in instead of spending seven or eight dollars for the same container of bath salts i can spend a dollar at the dollar store so i feel like i am selling you guys short and I feel like that is an area where I can improve on my channel. So like I said, here in April, I plan to go back to my very first haul and give you guys a review on all those products. And every month I plan on giving you a review on the next haul and then the next haul and the next haul until I get myself caught up because I have been able to use basically every single product I've hauled, I've been able to use all of those items. So I feel like hauls in general, without any kind of follow-up are pointless videos yes they're exciting to see what the person purchased and how much they spent which most of the time people won't tell you how much they spend on items whether they got it on sale whether they got it at full price whether they used a discount code anything like that nobody will tell you these things i have been trying to put prices on all of my screens for when i have empties when i have um hauls when i have any kind of product i'm talking about i've been trying my best at remembering to put the price on the screen because people will tell you about these products and then you'll be like well how much is this how much is it how much did you purchase that for if you didn't purchase it for full price and you purchased it off a different website how much did you purchase it for and i realized i didn't do that on my last favorites video i was gonna do that for my fragrance and stuff like that and i completely forgot to do my prices on that but I really want you guys to really start thinking about videos that you're watching that might just be entertaining for you, but aren't giving you any kind of quality. So these are the three videos that I feel like for me personally, I either don't watch anymore or I feel like they give me absolutely no quality to any kind of product information. So first impressions, definitely the worst videos ever because people's opinions change so quickly, especially the big YouTubers who will do a ton of first impressions because they have so much PR to go through. That's their only way they can feature it on that channel. And I think that's just silly and pointless and I don't agree with it at all. And I won't be doing any more first impressions. I did do, like I said, I did do one, get ready with me on my channel where I did all first impression products and I won't do any more of those. I don't agree with them. I don't think they're helpful. And I don't think that they're useful for you or for me as the YouTuber when I'm using them for the first time on camera, things look different on camera than they do in person to me. And I apply my makeup differently. Well, not differently, but I feel like it looks different when I apply it on camera versus off camera because I don't have this bright light going at me anymore. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, first impressions, completely pointless videos. PR hauls, there is no follow-up on most of these people's PR hauls except for people that have smaller hauls or that do, you know, like a quick vlog of all their PR stuff and then they start doing reviews on all of the products that they're getting. If they're not doing reviews on these products, why does it matter what they're getting? because I'm never going to see it again anyways. Yes, it might be a cool package or cool looking or whatever, but like, what, what do you think about it? I'm not just going to go and buy it because you got it in PR. That makes no sense. Anyways, I already did my whole rant about PR hauls. Like I said, I don't think PR is a bad thing. I think it's actually a great thing for people to get products to try out before, you know, most consumers can get their hands on it so they can feel and see how it is before they do it. But the problem is that these big YouTubers aren't reviewing these products for us. And if you really look at their channels, look at how many reviews that they have on their, on their products that they're getting in PR hauls, like nothing. And I really don't appreciate that. I want to see reviews on these products and I want to see good ones, not first impression reviews. I want to see real reviews on these products. And then the other thing that I have for you guys is the hauls without follow-ups. And like I said, this is a topic where I am lacking myself and in my channel. And I plan to correct that because that's a problem I see in a lot of people's hauls. People have hauls once, twice, three times, four times a month, especially around the Christmas time. People have hauls like once a week. What? Why do you have a haul once a week? I haven't even heard about the products that you had last time versus the products that you're getting now. 
it just drives me crazy. And there's a difference between a haul and a PR haul because a haul is things that you buy personally. In my opinion, if you are hauling something, that is something that you purchase with your own money. A PR haul is something that you're receiving for free. So in my opinion, you should be separating the two because we wanna know that you went out and you purchased these items with your own money because you thought they were that good or you thought they were going to be that good. People don't buy things if they know they're gonna be shit. So why would you think that a PR haul is the same as a haul? Because a PR haul is just anything and everything that those companies are sending to that person. And a haul is all of those items that the person is spending their own hard earned money on to get. So they're completely different in my opinion, but you should always have a follow through with PR hauls and with regular hauls. There should always be a follow through. And that is the way that we can find out if these products are actually any good. Why are you not following through on products? And I'm speaking to myself here too. Why have I not followed through on some of these products? That is the most pointless thing that I could give to you guys is not to follow through on the hauls that I have been doing. So. Like I said, I am going to do that because I realize I am in the wrong here too. So anyways, I hope this ranty type of video on pointless YouTube beauty videos helps you guys a lot. And I'm not just talking about big YouTubers, I'm talking about YouTubers of the smaller caliber like me. I have made mistakes in my own channel, but I've learned from them. And I've realized that I need to make changes in my channel to make it more effective and efficient for you guys to be able to see different products and see what I really feel about them. So anyways, I hope this video was okay for you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed it and got some kind of quality out of it because it really does matter. When I'm watching videos, I'm spending my time watching those videos. So I want the videos to be of quality for me and I want them to be useful. If you guys have any pointless videos that you guys have noticed that are in the beauty community, list them down below. I'd really like to know what your guys' opinions are on these pointless videos because we're, we're still watching them. They're still getting thousands and thousands of views. But why are we watching them if they're pointless? Sometimes we watch videos for entertainment, I get that. But for me, I've been watching videos more to learn. And I feel more productive when I'm learning something about a product or about a topic or about something in the beauty community if I'm watching a beauty channel. I just don't wanna watch a haul and see what you got. Cause that doesn't mean that I got it, and it doesn't mean I'm gonna go and get it. Let me know your comments down below on pointless videos that you guys have either stopped watching or are still watching just for the entertainment value, but let me know what you guys think down below in the comments and we will chat about it. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.